Yeah, I have a lawyer in here. When uh, my lawyer he came yesterday, how did he say, I can't do so for him right now. He should be by next month or... I guess so. Yeah, that's good. So, uh, your name yeah. is again? Zayed. Zayed, Dr. Zayed? Yes, sir. And you're Jordanian? Jordanian, yes. And you were arrested where? I uh, arrested by uh, the police panel of al Okay. And why did they arrest you? Arrest me, he said, for the first time, uh, I have uh, forgery. Forgery? No, he, just uh, he made, you know, he made problem anyhow. The second time, he said, you live in this apartment before and you're a tourist. I say, how is that? I'm, I'm a Christian too. I'm Catholic. I, I, I don't believe the tourist thing. So that did. And so then what happened? And now he arrested me just because I called some police officer in here. I called the manager of Arasafa to this department. He put me inside. He didn't let me. I, I interview with anybody. How long have you been here? I've been nine days over the earth. Three days. Did they uh, offer to help you out if you paid a little money? And some people, yes. Who did this? Yeah, some guy inside, he worked for him. In the, in the, in the police department inside. The, the, the prisoner, police department the, or another? The prisoner guy is inside. He worked with some people. Uh, he said you could pay like half, uh, like fifty, hundred dollars and you get out. I said I was that. So one million five hundred thousand yeah. dinar? I'm very sorry this happened to you, if, it, if in fact it's true. Yes. Do you need some allergy medicine? I have some allergy medicine. Yes, sir. You sound like you're a nervous wreck. Have you talked to your family or a lawyer? I don't have nothing. I'm sorry, guys. This is your transmission. He goes, look at my documents. If I have some, I can do whatever you want. I'm very sorry. Uh, let's count him out some, uh, give him a, a, we'll give you a month's worth of medicine just in case you're stuck here for a while. I can't, I can't stay inside, you see, there's 236 people in, in, in the room like this, two sides. You want what, what are you doing around? What are you going to give him? He has a manufacturer here. A For a medical problem. Medical. I'm sorry. Are you, are you you have, you have yeah, give him, uh, give him some, um, what is some it allergy medicine. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, in the United States? Yeah. Yes, the, I have uh, my social security number. The economy. Visa or your medical No, I, mean, I have a green card. Oh, green you card. got it. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Right. We will, yes, we will look into it. <laughs> you got it. Oh, is it? And I have a brother up there. My brother is in Chicago. I have six cousins in Chicago. Does your brother know that you're in jail? No. Okay. Do I have to see my back home? No, just my dear said, well, she gave me yesterday, and my lawyer too, and he told him, how can he tell him? Did, did, did you know, he, and he need me, exactly, how can he need to? I change my lawyer, because he have another lawyer, so I pay him more. Did, you, did, you, did your fiancé contact your family back in America that you hear? No. She did not? No, because she didn't have... Because she worked in the government, and, you know, and she go to the green zone, and she came here, you know, she, she can't do nothing just to bring the lawyer. Make sure you leave us your brother's name and the contact number. Yes, sir. We'll call him for it. Saad. He'll, he'll check it. You want me? My, 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 my little cousin Saad, the man, he live in Oakland. I got some. Are you going to... I just didn't want to put it in. You just call my fiancé. Oh, that's all right. Sylvia and Jishua. One seven zero eight three eight three six seven eight one. Slow down. You got plenty of time. Oh, no. Slow down. Relax. Okay. Just I want you to be calm. Okay. Your brother's name is Saad. My cousin Saad the man. He speaks English. Okay. Yes. Saad. 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 I got that. But what's the last name? The man. D a d a d a d a. Okay, now you've got asthma, okay? And you know that, you know, the government here moves pretty slow. We don't have the power to just remove you. And, uh, but I will, um, I'll make it a personal thing to, to call him. Um, what's his telephone number? Well, in, uh, in Chicago, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you could call, I don't know exactly. 
change the number now, uh, 1847, something like this. But I don't know another number, 1708 you you You're going so fast, you got to slow down. It's not good for your asthma to get yourself wound up either. 383 6781 6781 And he lives, or there's someone that speaks English at this address? Yeah, or number? She, her name is Sylvia. Sylvia. So what is it you manufacture here? Uh, the medical stuff. I sell medical stuff for the Minister of Health. What kind of Before the war. All kind of medical stuff. All kind of medical equipment? Yes, sir. Did but you now I didn't do nothing because, you know, what's happened now. So did someone turn you in as a... One day And, and uh, the police came and arrested you? Yeah. yeah. For nothing, for nothing. They say, you, you, have, you stay in our apartment before. This apartment uh, it used to live some tourist guy in it. And I lived in this apartment two months. I left this apartment. And after one year, he came back to me and he said, you live in this apartment? I said, I live in this apartment two months and I left it. This is an allergy medicine. I don't know if you're familiar with this. Corfiniramine in it. It's a long acting. But if you have Panadol, Talinoid, or something like this. What's the medicine you were on? Talinoid for headache. Talinoid, uh, yeah, sure. We got some. You're, you're a doctor of dentistry? Yeah, he's a OMS surgeon. He does facial surgery, or you at least did before. Yes. <laughs> Why do you smoke? Stop smoking, it's not good for you. You have asthma, you're smoking. You're you're already uh, tense. You're setting yourself up. I have too much pressure. I press me too, too much for this thing that I know. The thing is, is that as a doctor, I'm going to tell you that it's easy for me to tell you. I understand that. Because I'm, I'm looking from the outside. No, you can come back. You can inside. No, you can't. You can't. You can't take a shower. You can't take a shower. Do you want to give you some more? You want some water? Help yourself. You can't take a shower. You can't take a shower. I told you. 257 people and this room bigger than this two sides. I know. We don't like Believe me, we know. It just keeps getting... We know we make... Uh, would you give him uh, some more time and I'll take with him? All I can do is call this person. I don't know what, I, what that'll do for you. Do they have contact numbers so they can call you someone know, here to... You know, I don't have my book. Oh, you know, I have Major Dixon, he works in, uh, in Abutio. He knows me very well. And I worked with him about six months ago or seven months ago. I work with Major Dixon. Major Dixon? Yes, sir. From where? From Abutio. From where? Abutio. Abutio. Dora Sai. Dora Sai. What's the what? Do you want some, you know, say medical stuff for the people up there, for, you know, some block or something like this? Okay. You know me very well. Did I contact them with Major Dixon? Yeah, well, I, I, I called, I called uh, the guy up there and told me. He did. One second, let me interrupt. I want to listen to you. More, more the curious, get the hell out of the rack, the rack. Yeah, pretty much. Go ahead and take a couple puffs off that cover. Go ahead and use it. So we got a, we got a chef, we got a doctor. Yeah. There's our chef, Dre. I bet you check out the IT thing on there. Now they do the mail every hour and six hours and half. Yeah, just make sure to bring the uh, the water in. When did when did you come here? Where did you come from? That was yeah, there. Last year, yeah, I went to Georgia. I went to Egypt.